Let's look at how to code somebody to walk on a path. The first thing you wanna do is click on the object, the item, the animal, whatever you want to code, click on it, go to code, and then use in code blocks. That's the start. Now, if I want this person to walk on a path, I need a path. You'll find that down here in this category, under special. There's a round path, a square path, and a straight path. So I'm gonna use the round path, and then you can make this the size that you want it, okay? Span, you know, as large or as small as you want it. You can actually go by fine points if you want to and move around buildings and other things that you have in there, other objects. I'm gonna place my person right on the path. Now, what I need to do to get them to walk on that path is use code. Go up here under code. If you click on that, we're gonna use code blocks. That's the coding language we use in code spaces. Once we use that, the first thing we need to find is we want them to either do this automatically when the scene starts or when they're clicked. It's up to you. I'm going to do it when they're clicked. You don't have to do that. So when this boy is clicked and he's right there, what I want him to do is over here, we can have them say something, think something, something, anything like that. But what we're looking for right now is we want them to actually walk around the path. That's in the blue codes under transform. So we want to move him move regular boy on the brown path in five seconds. That's the amount of time. So if you look, we'll click play. Got to find him. There he is. He'll move around that path a little too fast. He's flying. Okay. And then notice he does it once. So here's how we fix that. So number one, we want him to do that several times. So we can take one and make it forever. We've got to put this inside then put this inside there, make him just move around that path forever. But we also want him to look like he's walking, right? So let's set his animation to walk or run. We'll have him run around that path. And five seconds is way too fast. He was moving too fast. So let's move it. Let's change it to 10 seconds and see how that looks. The other thing I'm going to do really quickly here, see our camera angles right there. I want to back that up so that when I enter this scene, I can kind of see more of it. So I'm going to click play. There he is. We click on him. That looks a little bit more natural. So that's really basically how you code someone to move on a path.